Hello everybody, this is a Lamley Showcase. I've got the new Matchbox Rally 2.5 pack. Mattel actually sent it. I found it in stores, there was a collector there who wanted it, I gave it to him. I actually signed it for him, there's a reason for it. Um, but uh, I've been excited to have this pack. Mattel sent me this pack, you'll know why here in a little bit if you haven't already, if you don't already know why. It's very, very cool uh, to have this pack. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. I have some cars to show with this. You know by the title of the video what uh, we're gonna showcase and what we're gonna focus on. You also get if, you've, if you're familiar with that car. But let's go ahead and show off the pack. It is the Matchbox Rally 2. It's got some really cool models, obviously, in a rally theme. There's the back. It's the International Scout is being used for the art. There's that if you want it, if you're trying to seek it out. And then it even has logos here. But let's go ahead and open this thing up because we got a lot to cover today with this video. Opening up a five pack can sometimes be in a bit of an adventure, but that's pretty good because those that try and open it and steal cars and return them make it hard, you know, so they have to rip these open. Let's get rid of that. Let's just go through the models, do the dots and last. This is the Baja Bullet. Done in obviously a Baja style. And uh, Matchbox livery, it's very cool. It's got the Falcon Deco on it. It's a nice casting, a lot of people like it. I think this kind of racing truck, kind of based on a Toyota, right, roughly. But it is a, a Matchbox original. It doesn't know, it doesn't always has to be a licensed one. I think if they're gonna do unlicensed, that's the kind of truck that's kind of cool. So we'll just leave that over there. Um, moving to the other side from the very top, this is the Geo or Geo Predator. That Romanian company, they've done two of these. Is it Geo or Geo? You guys can tell me who knows. G-H-E-O. Um, so this is actually a licensed model. It kind of looks like a Matchbox original, but it is licensed. And, um, you know, it's a kind of an off-road monster. Makes sense to be in a rally-style race, I think. I, I assume it's a kind of a racing vehicle. Next one, we'll go down again. Mentioned National Parks. Always exciting to have a National Parks. And when you've got a National Parks and a Toyota Land Cruiser, I mean, give me a break. Michael Herald explained this. Michael does a lot of the decos for Matchbox. Um, they wanted to do a Land Cruiser, and I think two different people did Land Cruisers. One ended up in the Retro, and this one ended up in the Retro Series for Target, and this one ended up in the 5-Pack. Um, both are obviously going to go into my National Parks collection. And uh, this one is very cool. The, uh, having a Land Cruiser National Parks, I'm just all into. And this one is great. Wildlife Refuge. Very, very cool model. I'd be super excited about that um, just by itself in this five pack. International Scout. Some people love this model. Some people hate this model. Uh, some people love it because it's a very cool off-road style International Scout. Some people hate it because the scale is so weird on this one. This one came from the era when Matt Trucks was kind of doing these toy-like, um, I remember they explained it as like how a kid would see a car. Um, not Matchboxes at the time, it's a totally different team now, but not their, not their best decision, I think. Um, very cool, like, it's cool they did an International Scout, but wouldn't it be great to see them return uh, a more, just a better realistic, better proportioned one sometime in the future? I don't know. All right. This is why... This is why I brought out this. I'm doing this. Uh, well, it's one of the main. It's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this case. This is the Datsun 510 Rally. Makes a lot of sense in this pack as is. Number 46. That might be kind of an unofficial shout out to BRE. It's got kind of a cool era appropriate deco on it. it obviously, has molded into it all of this equipment on top. But this one gets the side deco, and um, and if you look real closely, if you haven't seen it already. There's the Lamley logo, and right above it, it says Lambert. That's me. That's my last name. And there's a reason why this is on here, but I thought before I show this car, I'd actually, there's actually a few cars from Matchbox that have the Lamley, uh, a Lamley shout out or reference. And like I said, there's a specific reason for that one, but we'll walk through it. So the most, the most famous is the Lamley Leaks Raptor. This is the first thing that had my name on it and actually has me on it. Matchbox surprised me with this. Lamley's Leaks Tire Service, there was kind of this idea that I could show things early. They, they wanted to play off that theme and did this very cool, very interesting. I mean, it was such a trip. This was a few years ago. It's been maybe five years or so, uh, maybe even more, when this was released. And the process of this saying, hey, we're going to put your name on a car, I was just shocked. 
and uh, this Raptor was the very, very first one. They came back, find a spot for this. They came back a little bit later and surprised me with a 10-pack exclusive. Did the GMC Wrecker in the same deco turn it into like, it makes a lot of sense. It's a tire service. It would, it would make sense that the Lamley's Leaks tire service also had a Wrecker. And this was done in kind of this matte blue with the white wheels, just like the Raptor. So it matches them perfectly. So I was very surprised. I mean, it was very cool for them to do it. You know, Lamley had been growing, but I have a, I had a unique relationship with Matchbox. I've known them for a long time. You'll see why as it develops, uh, as I go through this. And then lastly, they dropped this one not too recently, which is also a 10-pack um, exclusive or 9-pack exclusive. But this one is not a reference to me. It's a reference to the Lamley brand, but it is more a reference to this guy. Super Guide David. See all the sneaks in the UK. Lamley UK. I think I've explained this before, but my last name is Lambert. I came up with the Lamley name with my friend David Tilly, who is a matchbox guru, lives in the UK. One night we were just kind of goofing around and um, it's a long, long story, but we said we should call ourselves something. We decided to call ourselves the Lamley Group um, because we knew a lot about modern matchbox was essentially what it was you know, compared to those that know all about like the cars from the 50s and 60s and 70s and uh, we just combined our names and when I needed a, to form a name for the blog at the time I just was like it was literally in about two and a half seconds I said oh I'll just call it Lamley for now and that name has stuck so this is a reference to Tilly um, British bus done with the Lamley name Lamley UK so it is the Lamley name but it is a reference to David Tilly but I think it it definitely fits with these other two I've had my name on a couple other unique Matchbox models, or at least the Lamley name. This is one right here. This is the, the Datsun Rally 510, but it's a different version. The very first version of the Rally 510 looked like this. It was plain on the sides, but they did decos on the top, on the uh, hood, on the roof rack, and on the back. But they left the sides blank because they could only do the passes that they did. Um, and this is how the car debuted. Well, they decided that since it was blank, and at the time, this was 2017, Matchbox had a presence at the Japanese Classic Car Show. And if you remember, those of you who were collecting back then, they would actually have customizers. They would pick a car. Well, they had a custom contest where custom customizers um, posted their customs, tagged Matchbox, and then the Matchbox team would pick, I think, maybe 20 or 25 or maybe, I can't remember how many, maybe it was 10, uh, customizers that they would send a raw model to and have them customize that we that they would show at the Japanese classic car show which I don't know when I'm posting this video but it's about now on September 10th and I'm there um, whenever this video is posting so those that got shown not only had their models shown at the show but they also got this special gift in 2017 it was this it was the 2017 Datsun rally it has the JCCS sticker on it right here with the logo and then they took the actual 510 and had a custom deco done on the side. So they took, you know, everything was normal and then it was on the side. They actually got it licensed by Nissan. So, but they did this one with the JCCS logo. Abe Lugo's name is on it. There's Japanese Nostalgic Car, who's always got a strong presence at uh, JCCS. Put extra dots and racing livery on it, NGK. Nissan Motor Company, and right there is my old Lamley Group logo, right in the back. So this is a unique piece. There's not too many of these. I don't, you know, I they numbered this one for me, but uh, I don't know if there's a hundred. But um, but there's not very many of these out there. But um, and this also is actually was the inspiration. They did, they did this special base for it. They had it 3D printed. And this is the inspiration for the premium models you're seeing on Mattel Creations now is this particular model, which is kind of cool. So I'll put that right here. And the last one is the most rare and kind of unique. And if you're familiar with the Matchbox Ambassador program, then you know what this is. This is my Matchbox Ambassador bus. It is one of one. There's actually 10 or 11 that exist. 12 that exist? 13. Because it, there's one for each ambassador. The ambassador program, I'll explain it real quickly and I'll put this on the turntable. This was given to me at the end of my uh, tenure as the Matchbox ambassador. I was the eighth ambassador. And there is my name right there. You can see it. 
John T. Lambert, 2012-2013. I was picked to be the ambassador by the Matchbox team at the time. What they did is they, this was, you know, eight years prior to this, they had started the ambassador program where this was a, they could create a liaison between the Matchbox team and Matchbox collectors. And basically they would have a monthly call with the ambassador and then the ambassador can put together a report that they would email out or post on like forums and things um, for Matchbox collectors to see what's coming out, give them news, maybe little things that may be delayed. It was just some way to, it was just a way for them to communicate. They've got their way through social media now, but at the time they would pick the ambassador. The ambassador would have a tenure for a year. And at the end of it, in July at the Matchbox gathering in Albuquerque, they would present the outgoing ambassador. They would they would announce the new one and present the outgoing ambassador with a gold double-decker bus. So I was picked to be the eighth ambassador, and this was my bus when it was was given out. Now, and so it's an official Matchbox Matchbox product, but it's there's only you know each bus is unique because it has the Matchbox ambassador logo and then the, the ambassador's name on it, and it's gold. Um, so that's a one of one, and then there's always a series of it. I think they were I think they. One day we're going to show all of them off. We really should. They don't do the ambassador program anymore, but um, but they still reference them. And that's what gets to this. I know this is a long explanation, but what are you going to do? That is why my name is on this Dotson Rally 510. Because if you look over here, it says NC, and that's Nigel Cooper. Nigel was the ambassador... I think after me, I forget the sequence of ambassadors. I think he was the ambassador after me, or maybe before. I think he was after me. Um, Nigel's from the UK. And what Matchbox has gotten special permission to do is occasionally you'll see a Matchbox ambassador's name, even though they don't do the program anymore, pop up on models. And it appears that they have chosen the Datsun 510 to be that model. So if I walk you through real quickly, you know, you've got, I'll, I showed you already this one. This was the first edition. There was no ambassador names on it. There's actually a wheel variation of that one. This was the Gathering Dotson 510, which was done in a regular wheel style. This one has Jim Gallegos' name on it because Jim Gallegos was the second ambassador. And also, he's the, uh, he's the organizer of the Gathering Convention. So his name gets on a lot of the convention models. But his model, or his name is obviously on that one. I have to... See if I can find where it is. I think it might be in the back. I think one of those logos is for, yeah, it says Jim right there. So there's Jim's name on an ambassador, on a Datsun 510. This was a basic version. They did the same thing where they decorated the top and left the sides blank. But if you look at the hood, you can see Wirsma, that's Chuck. Shabir Oil, that's Shabir. Ozima, that's Terry Ozima. And there's Nigel again. All reference, all ambassadors referenced on the hood of this Datsun. Obviously, the Rally 510 has racing livery, so you can put names on it. And Matchbox got special permission from the legal department to put uh, ambassadors' names on it. If you look at this one, same thing. There's John Unosis. He was the very first ambassador. Um, I think there's some others up here. If I, There's Geralda. That might just be John on this one, and he deserves to have his own because he was the very first ambassador. Um, so that showed up on that 510. And then on the five on the nine pack versions that were released a couple years ago, you see Larry Scaduto, you see John Nigis, who was an ambassador, and then Chuck Schluer, who was from Germany, who was the last ambassador before they killed the program. I don't, I don't know if this is Is that Lugo? I think that's Lugo. So that would be Abe. I don't know if there's any other reference. Oh. Over here on the other side, Tilly. There's David Tilly's name. So Tilly was, I think, the third ambassador, the Lee of Lamley. So he's shown up on this as well. So, and then there's Schluer again. So we've had Tilly's name. We've had all of them. And then I think in the other one, I think it was the same thing. They did two colors of this one. There's Larry Scuduto on one side and then Tilly's name on the other. So that was the same deco. And then if you look here, Chuck or uh, Dirk Schluer is right there as well. And I think that was the only one on this retro. So the next 510 is released and it has two more ambassador names, Nigel Cooper and me, John Lambert. And they just, they have the Lamley logo. So they put it on there, the newer Lamley logo. So that is why my name is on there. It really has nothing to do with Lamley. It has more of the fact that they've been putting ambassador names. They've kind of Easter egg them into the Datsun 510. And I don't know if they've been putting on other, I think it's, it's shown up on a couple of other models here and there, but ultimately the 510 is where the ambassador names show up. 
I have no idea how long Matchbox will continue to do this, but it's always a surprise for the for the 13 ambassadors. I think it was 13 ambassadors. I think it was 13, 12 maybe, um, that uh, that served in that position uh, back in the day. There you go, guys. That's the five pack. Those are all the Lamley models, ambassador models. It's kind of cool to see, right? You guys tell me what you think. Go find that five pack. Tag me on Instagram or something like that if you find it. I want to see. Thanks, everybody. Bye.